take the thought I. And allow yourself to be drawn inwards or selfwards to whatever it is that is indicated by this word. When I say, allow yourself to be drawn inwards, I don't mean to imply that there is some place or that you have to go or some distance that you must travel. You are already yourself. There is no distance from yourself to yourself. If there were a distance from yourself to yourself, then we would have to practice or make an effort to go from where we are now to where we want to be. So it would be more accurate to say, take the thought I and allow whatever it is that is signified by the word to shine in your experience. Allow it to outshine your thoughts, images, feelings etc. Allow what is signified by the word I to emerge from obscurity in the background of experience. Allow it to shine brightly in the foreground of your experience. been calling ourselves I all our life. Therefore, I refers to that element of ourself that cannot be removed from us, that remains with us in all states under all circumstances, at all times, and in all situations. It is our essential, irreducible self. Our naked, 
self-aware being before it is clothed or colored by experience. Imagine, um, imagine a policeman. He wakes up. He wakes up in the morning and has a shower. For a brief period of time, he is naked, and then he puts on his uniform. Yeah, putting on his uniform, he. He covers his nakedness. He looks in the mirror and feels, I am a policeman. His nakedness hasn't disappeared. It has just been covered or obscured by his uniform. And this covering or obscuring of his body makes him lose touch with the the knowledge or the feeling of his naked body. He hasn't ceased to be his naked body. He hasn't become another kind of body. He has just lost touch with the feeling of his body because of his uniform. So he acts and relates all day as a policeman, comes home in the evening, has a shower and briefly feels his essential naked body again. He doesn't become his naked body when he takes off his uniform. He was always essentially that, relatively speaking. He just failed to notice it when he was clothed in his uniform. So it's the same. We are essentially naked awareness, naked self-aware being, before it is clothed by or colored with experience. When we wake in the morning, we are for a brief moment just this pure sensitivity, pure openness, unqualified, self-aware being. And then we are gradually clothed with experience, thoughts, images, feelings, activities, relationships. And as a result, we don't cease to become Sorry, we don't cease to be naked awareness, but our naked awareness is, seems to be obscured by experience. We look in the mirror and we feel, I am a person, I am a man, I am a woman, etc.
and numerous moments throughout the day when we are, when we as naked awareness are, are, are briefly undressed, so to speak, at the end of each thought or perception on the fulfillment of a desire. But these brief moments, in fact, they are timeless moments, do, are not registered by the object knowing mind and therefore they pass unnoticed. So the only rest that most people get is in deep sleep when we simply abide as self-aware being naked awareness. So here, we have no quarrel with experience. Only we don't allow experience to obscure our naked self-aware being. We do not lose touch with ourself in the midst of experience. For most people, experience outshines our being. In enlightenment, our being outshines experience. As, as mystics, we rest in being. As friends and lovers, we share our being. As artists, we celebrate our being. As scientists and philosophers, we explore or investigate our being. But whatever we do or wherever we go, we don't allow our experience to eclipse our being, our essential self-aware being, naked awareness. Allow the experience of the body to come to your attention. Drop the label body. With our eyes closed and 
uh, with no reference to thought or memory. We have no knowledge of either having or being a body. We are a newborn infant, just a, a field of pure sensitivity, pure openness, pure knowing or experiencing. And in the middle of this field of sensitivity, there is this tingling, amorphous, pulsating vibration, which we will later label my body. Just stay with the raw experience without knowing anything about it. If you are in pain, then of course feel free to make yourself as comfortable as possible. But if not, contemplate this pulsating vibration until there is not the slightest impulse in you to move away from it. I say contemplate it. I imply that we don't focus on the sensation. We simply contemplate it with a, a soft, unfocused attention. We simply allow it to appear within us, this tingling, amorphous, pulsating sensation. And in this, in our disinterested contemplation, the sensation gradually loses all the labels that we previously attached to it. We feel that the sensation has no shape, no size, no gender, no age, no location, no nationality. It is neither pleasant nor unpleasant. It has no density or weight. It is simply floating or suspended weightlessly in the field of our sensitivity or knowing.
and the, this field of sensitivity or knowing in which this vibration appears is totally allowing, totally accepting or loving. Be sure to include both so-called functional sensations, the tingling of your legs on the chair or floor, the temperature of the air on your skin, but also sensations that are generated by feelings or emotions. A feeling of density or weight in your chest. Some parts of the sensation may be more intense than others. These would be the parts of our drawing which we indicate with clusters of lots of little black dots clustered tightly together. In other areas, the sensation is barely perceptible, mostly white paper with a few dots floating around. Allow the face area to come to your attention. This is one of the areas of the sensation that is usually most intense. One of the places where the sense of being a, a separate self is located, one of its main residences. The place where I the seer, I the smeller, I the taster, I the talker, I the thinker, I the hearer lives or seems to live. See that there is no self inside this sensation. There is just a sensation, amorphous, tingling, vibrating. The sensation doesn't house a self. No one lives inside the sensation.
allow the breath to come to your attention. Lengthen and deepen your breath and imagine that you are a, a baby fast asleep, breathing slowly and deeply. Drop the label breath, the newborn infant knows nothing of breath. And now visualize and feel that your breath originates in the space in front of your face. And as you inhale, you inhale the breath through the entire front surface of your face. And then on the exhale, you exhale your breath out of the back of your head into the space behind. And the next breath is initiated in the space behind your head. You inhale the breath all over the entire porous surface of the back of your face. In fact, unless you have a headache, you don't have a head. There is just a tingling vibration called my face like a a piece of muslin hanging on a washing line. And you breathe back and forth through this piece of cloth. Long, slow, deep breathing. Remember, the newborn infant knows nothing of air, inert stuff called air. The space in which the sensation of the face is suspended is not an inert space full of air. It is this field of sensitivity, this field of loving, open emptiness. We breathe in this loving emptiness all over the entire porous surface of the face into the space behind. And then the next inhale is initiated in the space behind. It percolates through the face on the inhale and seeps out into the space in front on the exhale from where the next breath is initiated. Be sensitive to any area of the face that is resistance, resistant 
to being permeated by the transparency and lovingness of the breath. Be sensitive to any area of density. For instance, in the eyes, there is often a, a density or re resistance that is caused by our excessive focusing on objects, grasping objects with our sight. And over the years, this grasping with our sight builds up a, a tension in the eyes and in the forehead. Now breathe this loving emptiness back and forth through the density of the eyes and forehead. Allowing the density to be increasingly permeated by the transparency, the emptiness, the lovingness of the breath. Be sensitive to any tension or resistance in your jaw area. The tension in the jaw area is another sensation that betrays the apparent existence of a separate self. Simply be aware of it and breathe this luminous emptiness back and forth through the density of this tissue, this vibration. Like the wind flowing back and forth through a piece of cloth suspended on a washing line. Are your cheeks and tongue and mouth completely open, soft? Freely allowing themselves to be permeated, saturated with the empty, loving substance of the breath.
and now the throat area to come to your attention. Breathe this loving emptiness back and forth through the sensation. This is another place where the accumulated residues of years of believing and feeling that I am a separate located self resign. If there is resistance to this exercise, either in your thoughts, such as, I don't want to do this, or I can't do this, or this has nothing to do with non-duality, or in your feelings, don't feel that this resistance is somehow a failure. On the contrary, this resistance is being exposed by this meditation. It is the resistance of a separate self. I do not want to be exposed. I do not want to be dissolved. I do not want to die. Allow the heart and chest area to come to your attention. This is for most people the, the densest or most intense area of the sensation of the body. more like a duvet hanging on the washing line than a piece of muslin. The place where layer upon layer upon layer of feelings have accumulated over the years. <coughs> feelings of being unloved, abandoned, abused, unheard, violated, ignored, disrespected, etc. This is the place where the, the deepest root of the separate self lives. The belief 
in being a separate self is a relatively small part of the apparently separate self. By far the larger part of the separate self lives in the feeling of being separate, dense, solid, located, limited. And this feeling resides mostly in the chest or heart area. So it may take time for the breath to percolate deeply into this sensation. Take time, let the, this luminous, empty, loving substance percolate slowly with each breath more deeply into the sensation and then it seeps out into the space behind from where the next breath is initiated. There is some particular feeling that is exposed in this contemplation. Allow yourself to name it briefly in order to locate it. Then drop the name. Put that part of the sensation under the microscope and breathe this loving emptiness in and out of it. Allow the belly area to come to your attention. Breathe this loving emptiness in through the entire porous surface at the front of this sensation. Allow the sensation to be increasingly permeated and saturated with each breath and then exhale through the porous surface of your back into the space behind from where the next breath is initiated.
include the pelvic area and your legs. Now stop compartmentalizing the body. Just feel the body as a, a, a single, tingling, amorphous vibration suspended weightlessly in this loving emptiness. And feel that you breathe in this loving emptiness from all around the sensation. And with the in-breath, the breath percolates into the sensation all over its entire porous surface. Progressively permeates and fills the sensation and then seeps out in all directions into the space all around from where the next breath is initiated. Be very sensitive to any areas of the sensation that are, that seem to be dense, that seem to resist being penetrated and permeated by the transparency of the breath. And now feel that with each, when you inhale, you through the entire porous surface all over the sensation, the sensation is progressively filled with the transparency and lovingness of the breath. And then on the exhale, the breath begins to carry the sensation out into the space all around in all directions. So the, with the exhale, the sensation is being dispersed into the space all around like a cloud expanding into the sky. visualize and feel that as the cloud expands into the sky, it loses its density, it thins out as it expands.
visualize it. Visualize and feel that the sensation has expanded to the size of this room. Your cheeks are touching the walls either side of you. The top of your head is gently caressing the ceiling. Your face and chest are kissing the wall in front of you. Your back is leant against the wall behind you. And then as you continue to inhale and exhale, the sensation expands through the walls. into the space all around, gradually becoming more and more transparent as it flows. The breath is turning the sensation into itself. We can no longer distinguish between the cloud and the sky. There is just the thinnest mist suspended uniformly throughout the sky, made only of sky. We can no longer distinguish three elements in our experience, the breath, the sensation, and the field of pure knowing, the loving emptiness. A single, transparent, empty, luminous, loving substance, gently vibrating within itself, pulsating within itself, assuming the form of this current or ripple that we once used to call my body. Stop controlling your breath, stop visualizing or feeling anything in particular, just allow experience to be as it is.
let's remain silent till we're in the dining room. Thank you. <laughs>